Here's the flowchart for a program that asks the user for a year and tells them whether it's a leap year or not. Here's the code. There's nothing wrong with it, except that when we test the program, it only does one year at a time. If we want to test another year, we have to run the program again and again. What we'd really like is to run the program once and have it ask us over and over again for years. This is a perfect use for a while loop. Here's a revised flowchart. We'll ask for a year and then test a condition. As long as the condition is true, we process the year, ask for the next year, and loop back to see if we should continue or not. The question now becomes, what's a good condition to test? We need some value for the year that will tell the program, OK, I'm finished. This value is called a sentinel value. It's a special value that doesn't represent valid data, but instead tells the while loop that it's time to stop. In this case, our sentinel value is 0. This is an ideal sentinel. There's no year 0, so we can use that as our special OK, we finished value. That means we continue the loop as long as the year is not zero. Let's update our code. First, we'll change the description of the program to add that we do this until the user gives us zero for the year. We'll change our prompt to reflect that. Enter a year or zero it says quit. After we get the year, we'll add our while with the condition year not equal to zero and an opening brace. The test for leap year becomes the body of our loop. We indent it and put a closing brace to close our while loop. After we process one year, we have to add code to ask for the next year. We'll print our prompt, enter another year, or zero to quit, and we'll get the user's next input. Let's compile that, and let's run it. This time, when I enter a year, it asks me for another one, and another one, and another one. Until I'm ready to stop, I enter zero, and the program ends. And that's how you can use a loop to repeatedly ask for input.